three, two, one, go. Here we go, 17.5. Katrin Davis daughter, Sarah Sigma's daughter. 10 rounds, nine thrusters at 65 pounds and 35 double unders. Want to thank Margo Alvarez for stopping by. She'll be back with us later on for Roe versus Boz. And both women done with their first round of thrusters at the same time and now onto the jump rope. I like the way both women were nice and conservative, breathing on the thrusters. That's going to be crucial here because those thrusters have to be at a pace they can catch their breath. 35 double unders is a short number for these ladies and they're going to rip them out. 440 total repetitions of both women through round one. Catherine David's daughter right back to the barbell as is Sarah Sigmund's daughter. Catherine had a really quick transition there from rope down and right to the bar. And she also set her jump rope down perfectly so she can go right back and get started. Look at that, two steps back and she picks it up. David's daughter is just slightly ahead of Sigma's daughter. Now it becomes a question of who maintains this pace. That's the thing. If this were a five round workout, it's so different than 10 rounds. These ladies are very, they're obviously very, very strong. They're very fast, but this is where you have speed and precision come into play because in later rounds, when you're a little taxed and fatigued, that's where the double under mistakes could happen. Catherine Davis daughter's on round three. She got back to the barbell first and she's about a half a rep ahead of Sarah Sigma's daughter. As neither woman has showed any signs of slowing down here. Again, 10 rounds. Nine thrusters, 35 double unders for a total of 440 repetitions. And those reps will be counted in the white box next to each woman's name. The leader will be highlighted in blue. What I love about these two athletes is they came into the sport not as really specialists in one area. They were just overall very well-rounded athletes who just excelled by doing CrossFit. And I love that about them. They have such great uh, you know, comparison head-to-head. -head. But between the ears is really where we typically see the difference. And I was going to give Sarah you know, the advantage here because usually she can, on, on events where you can go a little more crazy and not stay as controlled, Sarah usually does better. Doesn't always help her in the long run in a whole weekend kind of event. But I love to see Katrin being a little spicier, a little feistier. I love to see that out of her. And now we have our first trip of the double unders. That was Sarah Sigmund's daughter on the right of the screen. And that's allowed Katrin Davids daughter to open up a handful of the four or five rep lead on her. And that, if they keep the speed, it's going to be hard to make up. But that's exactly what you talked about on the double unders. The double unders is at 35 reps. You can get so many in in a short time. And you can miss so many in a short time. That's why it's really important to be controlled with that. Davids daughter. On the round five, as is Sigmund's daughter. David's daughter on the right, Sigmund's daughter on the left. And Sigmund's daughter is trying to regain some of those reps who've lost because of the trip on the double under. David's daughter is continuing this pace back to the jump rope. And Sigmund's daughter trying to close the gap. It's good to see Sarah pull together there and stay relaxed on that set. So hard to shake those off because you're fighting the fatigue as well. But she really does look like she got it relaxed. The other thing that Sarah does is she gets that first jump right away with the double, no waste of extra effort. Same with Katrin. That's going to help save precious seconds as well. That's the halfway point of this workout as far as reps are concerned. Again, 440 total reps. Five rounds to go. And Katrin Davids out the two-time defending fittest woman on earth. And Sarah Sigmund's daughter, the woman who has finished in third place two years in a row at the games. And it's just so hard for Sarah to make up any of that time now. The only thing she can hope for is that for her, to have David's daughter have a mistake. Other than that, I don't know if she's going to be able to catch her. It's going to be tough to have Catherine Davis daughter make a mistake. Sarah Sigmund's daughter is back to the bar right behind Catherine Davis daughter. Two reps, three reps behind David Zotter as we're past four minutes in this workout. The only way you can make a thruster be faster is to pull the bar back down. As soon as you're locked out, pull it back down and start squatting before the bar comes to your shoulders. That'd be the only thing Sarah can do to go any faster with those nine thrusters. David Zotter back to the jump rope. She sort of stumbled getting started, but she has yet to miss a rep. When we talk about Katrin David's daughter, we talk about composure, consistency, control, confidence. These are all words that we see throughout the entire weekend of the game, or the week of the game. But I love seeing that in a workout. She talks about how dialed in she is every single time she trains in Boston with Ben Bergeron. And we're seeing what that does right here under the pressure.
one of the lights with all the people when, when it matters and when it counts. I'd love to see that. Davis Otter through 317 of the 440 reps. And Sarah Sickles Otter's right behind her, but it was that costly miss on the double unders that has put Sarah Sickles Otter behind Catherine Davis Otter. You know, hearing this workout and thinking about double unders, there are times when they just get, they just, you mess up. And I was thinking, I think we're going to see a lot of repeats on this workout. People should do this one perfect, and they're going to keep going. It's not too heavy that they can't repeat this one multiple times to get it just perfect. Yeah, especially when you're talking about competitors who a triple the regionals maybe on the line here. Every second is really going to count. And now David's daughter is done, and here comes Sarah Simmons' daughter. And Sarah has managed to catch up a little bit. With Catherine Davis on about one, maybe two reps behind her. 440 total reps. That's the magic number here at 17.5, presented by Zevia here at the Monona Terrace in Madison, Wisconsin, the new home of the CrossFit Games. I can't believe she did it, but she closed that gap. And now we're neck and neck back to the barbell. Final round. And Sarah looks like she's even faster here, using the momentum of the crowd. Sarah Sigmundsdottir has taken the lead and is back to the jump rope. What a confidence builder this would be for Sarah Sigmundsdottir. If she can go unbroken, she's going to best Catherine Davidsdottir at 17-5. And now a trip for Davidsdottir. Sarah Sigmundsdottir, smooth sailing. She is feisty. And, and she now a trip for Sigmundsdottir. But she has enough of a lead on Davidsdottir. And now Sigmundsdottir struggling. Here comes Catherine Davidsdottir. Six to go. Now five, four. Davidsdottir's creeping up. Sigmund's daughter with another trip. Davis daughter will win. Just ahead of Sarah Sigmund's daughter. Just too many costly misses on the double unders. Came down to the last set of doubles. That was insane. A two second plus victory for Catherine Davis daughter. But what a fight from that woman, Sarah Sigmund's daughter. Davis daughter, man, she looks dusted. Incredible. That was amazing. Sarah Sigmund's daughter just. Oh my word, so impressive. To make the move when she did was perfect. She didn't wait too long, that was that was critical, but she just gave it a little bit too much and couldn't hold it together there in the end. And credit for both women for keeping their composure when they missed.